Hey Virgo, welcome back to this channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy these my readings here. Um, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And a personal reading link is in the description box below this video. Okay. So for those of you who are channel members of the VIP channel, uh, VIP bonus, <laughs> extra content members, club members, there is a video that has already been posted. So go and check that out if you did not get a notification. Um, all right, so we're gonna take a look here. Now we're going into the rest of October. Tomorrow I will be uploading your uh, weekend reading. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So, Virgo, you're starting with sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, mirroring each other. And someone's not feeling good or feeling frustrated in a relationship here. Self-sabotage, someone's being jealous. Um, there's an insecurity. Um, Someone's copying you, Virgo. Hmm. Uh, I feel like somebody looks up to you or has you on some kind of pedestal. They look up to you and uh, they're mirroring your ways due to their own insecurity. There's somebody here, and it's it's crazy because when I was shuffling the cards earlier, one card dropped out and it just like shot out to the ground and it was, it was called Mask. Um, so yeah, here it is. Not showing true feelings someone's pretending to be okay is what I'm hearing they're pretending that they're okay in this month okay but they're they're stalking they're looking they're watching you um, feeling very insecure let's see all right let's take a look here yeah somebody's wearing a mask Pretending to be all right. Who is this? It could be a Leo. Well, that's quite uncommon for a Leo. So, but I do feel like whoever this person is, you know, to you, it feels like they're they're faking or feigning happiness and joy or feigning positivity. I wear my sunglasses because it's just so damn bright. My life is so great. And they might feel that way. They're trying to convince themselves that their life feels um, like everything's just freaking great, happy, go lucky, joyous. Putting on some kind of a mask or an act as if like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Now that could be you. Remember, the roles could be reversed. But this is pre-planned. They're saying this is all thought out. This is what I want to call perception management. Somebody is trying to manage others' perception of them. They're fine financially. They have all these great opportunities uh, trying to like impress you or make it seem like um, they're not affected by something. They're not at a loss or affected by something like everything's just great over here. No worries. I'm fine. I'm not feeling bad about anything. I'm not feeling insecure. Okay. Yeah, but they're lying. They're full of shit. Full of it. Someone is covering up their hurt and their pain. Trying to make it seem like it's fine. All right. Let's see. What else can you tell Virgo about this? Okay. Oh, man. The lovers, Gemini energy here. Um, somebody's still in love with you, Virgo. Somebody is still, they want to be with you. Or you're, maybe you're already with them. But this person is acting, they're, they're putting up a front. Somebody's fronting and flexing. I don't know exactly how, but in, in I mean, like they could be flexing like, you know, the muscular flex as well but I feel like it's more along the lines of either trying to imp impress you to make you curious or wonder what's going on with them or why they're so happy um, 
me see. They want you to reach out. Somebody wants you to reach out and ask them how they're doing so that they can tell you that they're fine. And that they're doing great. They got all these new beginnings happening in their life. Could be a Taurus. Hmm. Why is this, why is this person flexing though? Like we know that they're wearing a mask, being insecure. They're looking at what you're doing and kind of copying. Maybe you're doing okay. Let me see. But why are they hiding? Like, why are they doing this? What is this? What is like the, oh, okay. Because there's some kind of an abandonment thing that's happened here. They're feeling abandoned or they don't want to show their feelings. Right? That's what not enough is. Not showing their feelings. How they're really feeling. Or they might be just broke and they're trying to make it seem like they're not. Like they got it all together. They got everything. They got all their money. They're good. But they're not. They're struggling. The Five of Pentacles is worry, isolation, not feeling good. Financial loss, being left out in the cold. Hmm. Wow. Trying to maintain some kind of like hope. Could be somebody in the public eye. You do have Aquarius here. Trying this person is kind of like I'm hearing someone's birthday is on the 17th. Um, it's like they're trying to be not show that they're depressed. They feel like they're being like they've been ignored, but they're trying to act like they're not and maybe even seeking attention elsewhere or just outwardly for validation hmm okay so was this somebody that you're in a relationship with or that you're not talking to looks like it was a breakup of some sort some kind of a breakup hmm wow Virgo or some kind of argument to people not communicating at this time maybe third-party interference could be a divorce. Yeah, Virgo. Looks like there's some kind of breakup and someone's acting as if they're fine, but they're really not. I feel like they don't want you to see that, that all the opposite is true. They're struggling. There's like a little bit of suffering here. Oh, all right. This is how we're shuffling the hidden truth. You have six of cups. This could be somebody that you have like a long history with. This person wants to repair this relationship, reconnect with you. Let me see what their their feelings are. What are they hiding here? So they know that they crossed the line with you, Virgo. Some kind of a line. They're burying themselves in work to forget you. Yeah, trying to make that money or seem like they're they're doing well, making a lot of money, you know, that kind of thing. This person's waiting. That's why they're looking, because they're looking for like some kind of sign to see if you're gonna come back. They're a little bit obsessed. They lost themselves. You speak to me through music. There might be some type of music connection you have with this person. They love you. And they want to tell you how they feel, but I feel like they're struggling to tell you how they feel. They're putting up a front because they don't feel good enough. They definitely want you, Virgo. They wish they had treated you better. Well, that's one thing. There must be some kind of breakup or argument or something due to um, not being treated well. Yep, my life is not together as it seems. See, this is the hidden truth. And this person is, is flexing to make it seem like everything's going great. They might have even reached out to you and said they're doing really well. You know? Or you might have talked to them. And they're like, oh, everything's great. Yeah, I got this new job. Or I got these new like opportunities coming in. And yeah, I'm doing really well. I'm doing great. Everything's working out. I'm really happy. 
you know, or they're showing this. If you haven't talked to them, they're showing this somehow. But it's just false. It's just a way to kind of like save face. Either they don't want to deal with the deal with their emotions. They just want to forget about it, um, or just make it seem as if they're not affected. It's very egotistical, quite frankly. Like to be putting, to be fronting like that. You know, um, like it's one thing to feel bad and not walk around flexing about how great you are um, in front of others. Because I mean, like people can see that fakeness. But, um, you know, like if you just feel bad, you feel bad. No need to go around with a mask and making it, like telling the whole world you're great. Um, it's okay to feel bad and like, you know, deal with your emotions. But this person's like going the full nine yards here with making everybody or even hoping you will see that um, they're doing great. The truth is you were the best thing in this person's life. So obviously there's some kind of separation. They're flex yeah, I'm starting to understand the connection, right? Okay, maybe they didn't understand it before. Virgo. They wish things could be different. Hmm. These are secret. They will they, yeah, we will be together again. We saw that with the lovers. So I do feel like this person wants to reconnect with you. And the six of cups, definitely. Let me see you, Virgo. What's going on with you, Virgo? Hmm, you're in combat mode. You got the five of wands here. What a challenge. A lot of challenges here for you. You might even challenge this person on this BS, this flex. Um, look, two fives. Tremendous amount of uncertainty. There's a cutoff here for sure. Maybe there's some verbal argument or you might have said something challenge this person in some way oh virgo um, a lot of obstacles and i feel like there were some harsh words maybe came from your side you called some this person out on the, yeah not putting in any effort or really trying or being consistent in a relationship and only coming in with the, the physical, okay? Or not or not being consistent with showing up with the passions, you know, the physical, like maybe even physically showing up where they needed to show up. I feel like that's really what it was about, like putting in the physical effort, whatever that might mean to you. It might have been like someone was just all talk and not really showing up to the relationship. They were just all talk. Or they just wanted to talk. But there was nothing, you know what I mean? Like, it's got to be, like, I feel like for you, you might have looked at the situation and said, okay, we've got, we've got words, but we don't have actions. And even if we do have action, there's, it's fleeting action, and it's not consistent pattern of action to back up the consistent pattern of communication. Yes, stuff not aligned here. fleeting romantic emotions this is not deep the lovers is deep the knight of cups is not deep the knight of cups is charming energy it's romantic it's it's a, it's a going out and having a romantic evening you know it's not sustainable it's in and out comes around maybe you wanted the romance or that kind of sweet connection yeah, look, it looks like you came to the end of you came to the end of this this road here, carrying a heavy burden. I feel like you it looks like you felt like like you're exhausted, exhausted with the relationship, maybe just not going anywhere. It was just too it feels like with the eight of pentacles and the two fives of wands and swords that you just kind of cut this off because the consistency was fleeting. It was. It was showing up and then not showing up or it was showing up for like a week and then disappearing or it was just like showing up for three days and then disappearing or showing up for a month and then you know dipping out I feel like either you ended the relationship or they did or you both did or someone was forced to 
and it just because it came to this ten of wands a complete exhaustion too many burdens to carry over stress the relationship felt more stressful than easy yeah okay virgo you're you're ready for a new love start a blessing to come in i feel like that's where you're at here that's what you want start over now do you want to start over with this person and heal it they have to heal it maybe or have to be willing to try to put in that effort and yeah maybe you will um be happy with that but for others you know it might just be you're ready to meet somebody new which is the ace of cups and go the distance with someone who's willing to go the distance with you i don't feel like you're giving up you're not giving up on love i feel like you're you know i don't know some of you might still be holding out for this person others of you are like no been down this road too many times gonna move forward and take my chances elsewhere so i don't feel like you're really committing to anything at this time with anybody some of you might be but you're definitely committed to not quitting or not giving up on love which i think is wonderful you might be in hermit mode right now virgo too where you're just doing a lot of reflection facing your dark past shadow work that kind of energy becoming enlightened as well keeping a little bit quiet um dealing with some anxiety you might have some stress mental stress and anxiety also at in, in october hold on a second um or a little bit of grief and depression and keeping yourself i feel like you're kind of it looks like if not now maybe later but it looks like you're in this position of like you're keeping your anxious i'm sorry your anxiety maybe you have an anxious attachment maybe you're looking at that or one was developed out of this relationship you might have been dealing with a very avoidant partner who was in and out avoidance you know, very in and out energy or maybe you became avoidant uh, anxieties might be creeping up and you're kind of sorting through them in silence on your own and or trying to figure stuff out here you're very self-reflective with the hermit you're, you know going within for clarity you're trying to get some personal truth here and be becoming illuminated you know i don't feel like you're tremendously i don't feel like you're isolated or lonely and i feel like you are maybe questioning why you would repeat these same mistakes or why you keep getting stuck in these types of relationships if you've had uh, numerous relationships like this or why you got stuck in this one in particular okay and look you do get clarity virgo so this is good light bulb moment right here you get that clarity and you cut through right the bs right i feel like i don't feel like you're blaming yourself so much if anything maybe you're just taking accountability of why you didn't um act on the major red flags and like maybe even if you're not diving into that maybe just saying okay i didn't and saying next time i'll be sure that i don't do that again it's kind of what i feel like is happening here however on the same token i feel like this person um your person whoever they are uh they're faking their pain and their hurt they are and they're hiding it they're very they have it's very secret this person feels very scripted with the mask they're not even i don't know if they're with anybody else i don't see that here they could be but it, even if they are i don't it's fake it feels like it's just to show it's for show there's a silent treatment happening here as well definitely secretive secrets and silence you get a water signs first court card cancer scorpio pisces i feel like they keep showing up masculine or feminine there's a there's a water sign who's being silent or giving silent treatment and the reason so are they giving it to punish i don't know but they're definitely giving it because they're so okay they're in a lot of grief so it's not to punish it's because they're hurt and either they don't want to open up and tell you that they're hurt so they're flexing like everything's fine or they don't want to talk to you out of anger 
and hurt you in return. But the other, like overall, I feel like this person, whoever you're dealing with here, is really feeling um, unworthy, not good enough. They're feeling the loss heavily, and that's why they're overcompensating for the loss by acting as if they're fine. But you can, and most Virgos can see right through that, or you have a hunch, your intuition might tell you that's what's going on. Um, Ten of Swords, total uh, a sense of betrayal, a feeling of backstabbing, complete, total shut out, painful ending, rock bottom. This person's in total, they're in complete grief. And they're hiding it. They're hiding it from you. They're hiding it from other people. They don't want anyone to know. And, uh, you know, I guess maybe that's just how they're dealing with it. But like I said, to go out of their way to act as if everything's fine really doesn't fool anybody, especially when it's posted on social media. Because, yeah, I mean, people who are grieving, they pretty much just kind of, not everybody, but most people. I mean, I know everybody grieves differently, but I feel like people who are, who really gr are really hurt, they kind of like, sometimes that comes with depression and some illness. And it's like, you just want to stay in bed. You're not talking to anybody. You know what I mean? Um, but, and that's okay. That's like totally okay. That, that's self-care. Just needing that moment or a little bit of time. You know, but but I don't know. If, however this person's showing up, it's, it's not dealing with the grief. They're feeling it, but they're pushing it away. And like resuming life as normal, or at least in their mind. Maybe because it's uh, so overwhelming. This loss, there's a feeling of loss. It's very overwhelming for them. I do want to ask, though, Virgo, I just want to ask, what, what is your... I want to touch on your feelings about this whole situation right now or how you might be feeling throughout the rest of October. Mm, wow, Seven of Cups. Like, Virgo's like... I don't even know. You're going with the flow as far as your emotions go. You know, I... For some of you, it is too much for you to deal with and um, as well. And... Um, I f okay, they're just saying, I feel like some of you are um, dealing with a breakup um, through entertainment which is interesting. Maybe watching some shows or going to the movies or uh, kind of diving into fantasy books or th uh, other things, you know, um, to kind of help you. So you and this person are obviously grieving, but in different ways. But I feel like maybe even though you're doing that self-reflection as well, I feel like you're coping with your grief by uh, distracting yourself with other things in your life, you know? So I think you're both hurting. Um, I don't really see you putting anything out there like, oh, I'm fine, I'm doing great. Nobody can touch me, nobody can hurt me. I feel like this other person is doing more of that. Yeah, you're more along the lines of feeling what you're feeling, but you're also doing some analyti analytics here with your emotions and the whole relationship. Um, but you're also diving a little bit into maybe going to have some drinks or uh, not overdoing it. Because for Virgos, right, um, Virgos go in the path of let me self-reflect and then sometimes can flip the hermit until you get into a place of extreme isolation and then never coming back out of your house again, you know, or um, just g giving up completely on relationships on love, that kind of energy. Some some Virgos can go that way where um, you just completely get stuck. And I feel the way you're coping with that is you stop yourself from going too deep because you're the hermit in the upright. You stop yourself from going too deep and then you maybe go read a book where you get into maybe play a game or, or just doing something, you know, like you're giving yourself a break. So I feel like you're, you know yourself and I feel like your self-care is on point. This other person, if they got into what you... Uh, are doing taking a look at themselves they'd go down that rabbit hole to the point of like severe depression 
So the way they're coping with it is flexing and acting as if yeah, everything's just fine. You know, I feel like they're even convincing themselves in their feelings of grief that they're fine. Yeah, so what does that mean? I kind of feel like they're taking it harder than you are. And now, if you're, right now you're listening to this, so you're like, no, I, I don't know how they're feeling, but I'm, I'm really struggling. Uh, it's going to get a little bit better for you because remember, this is for the month of October. So we're only on October 9th, 10th. So you still have 20 more day, 21 more days. Okay, so things are going to, I feel like for you, get a little bit better as far as like how, how, how far you're going to dive down into trying to, you might be trying, since you, there might be a lack of communication. Like I said, there's some silent treatment or not talking. You might be trying to repair this relationship with this person in your head as a way, because there might be a lack of closure and as a way for you to convince yourself that it's fixed. Um, I feel like you might be going through a lot of different analytics <laughs> here, analyzing things, sorting things out. Like your, your brain's like a computer right now, you know, um, or at least will be going through the rest of this month. But I definitely feel like you are, you're feeling it, they're feeling it. Let me see the best path forward for you, Virgo, in um, the rest of this month here. All right, the moon. Wow. Um, okay, Virgo, <laughs> this is tough. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> trust your gut. Trust your intuition. This is what they're saying. They're not telling you to take any action. So I don't feel like the path forward for you is to take action. I feel like it's the lesson here for you and the best advice path forward is for you to start trusting your intuition and your gut feeling. The moon, there's an old Bruce Lee movie where he said pointing a finger at the moon moon if you look at the finger you miss all the heavenly glory of the moon don't think just feel and that is your intuition feel what you're feeling and and the and the feeling is the result of your intuition right your intuition is that your whole body just knows and when your intuition is on point with something your whole body feels calm when your intuition is right you don't get fearful feelings or deep sour stomach or anything. When your intuition is on point, you feel a sense of calmness and peace. So start practicing recognizing that and knowing the difference. Now, what is going to be the outcome for you and this person, Virgo, going forward? All right. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Okay, so there will be some kind of commitment. I'm actually going to go into the extended and um, dive a little bit deeper into this because I do see some type of understanding. And I was asking for you and this person in total, the outcome. There is coming to some kind of an understanding. However, there's also this energy of possible um, you two coming into alignment in putting things in order. Okay. Now, you could also have a connection with a Taurus, another Virgo, or a Capricorn. Yeah, so the Four of Wands here, there's a reunion. So the extended to this, I'm going to delve in, is going to be in the description box below. The link will be down there. It'll say extended reading. So if you're interested, go over and check that out, okay? So let's finish the reading. All right, let's finish the reading, Virgo. Let's see what your overall message here is all right get the ten of wands up oh, yeah working too hard or too many hours virgo the need for balance in life let others help you watch out for health problems that could be due to stress oh we have somebody's uh i'm hearing michelle or michael or mika um you have the ace of swords again you have a brilliant idea it's going to need some refinement, Virgo. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely and directly. Remain objective. Um, someone's address is 101 or there's a connection to 101, 101. And then you have the Queen of Swords, air energy. 
brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental. That's you, Virgo. Reali releasing situations or people that no longer serve your highest need, highest good. Seeing the humor in difficult situations. That's a good piece of advice. Focus on your career. You might be divorced or unmarried. Okay, messages of love, Virgo. What are your messages of love? To all of you, and I said this yesterday, to all of you who are in the path of Hurricane Milton, up and down the east and west coast of Florida, I want to send out my blessings and my greatest thoughts for you, that you will be safe, recover, have strength, and be at peace through all of this. I wish you guys much, much safety and blessings during that. Okay, so this a rejection is divine protection. And it is safe to trust in the situation right now. You are being uh, protected by the divine spirit at this time, Virgo. You're in the care of the divine. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Seek out the support that you need. And there is a friendship that's going to lead to more. And I feel like... You know, if you're in a relationship with someone where you didn't have a friendship, that's not this reading. That's just for, that's just a one night stand. If there's a friends with benefits, yeah, that's going to lead to more. Or just a friendship, it's going to lead to more. But the time apart is bringing clarity to you and this your person here. All right, you're mastering the spiritual lesson here, Virgo. And the spiritual lesson, as I said, was that moon energy. Don't think, feel. Practice under, practice recognizing your intuition. Ooh, yikes. Well, there you go. Spiritual lesson, definitely learned. Twin flame connection. Definitely meant to be lessons learned. A true love. This, this this relationship encompassed all the feels all the feels affected your emotions your the physical uh, everything and them too but here's the, here's the issue there were some red flags that you overlooked or you bypassed or you allowed to happen that maybe you're taking a look at now and will pay attention to in the future might have been a little bit of codependency or something like that occurred Okay, anything else Virgo needs to know? Don't forget the extended reading link to see uh, you guys coming back together will be in the description box below. There you go. Yeah, there will be a return. Expect to hear from this person soon. Now, does that mean you're going to get back to? I mean, listen, you have free will. If you want to get, if you want that to be together, the the potential is great here. But if you don't, maybe this is just for closure. And if you don't need the closure, maybe it's for their closure. Oh, that's Mercury retrograde. Oh, now they're just saying, no, don't discount that. Something happened during the Mercury retrograde. There must have been communication issue, a breakdown, something fell apart. Issues with electronics, something occurred. A lot of it had to do with that retrograde. When was that? August? Yeah, experiencing some kind of breakup. Communication breakdown. It's always the same, having a nervous breakdown. Drive me insane. All right. And you also have caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Don't go. Don't like. I'm, I'm hearing. Don't fill in gaps. With. I want to say. Um, crazy thoughts. Just stick to the facts. Okay, Virgo. If there's pieces missing. You know, like when an investigator is trying to solve a crime, if there's pieces missing or dots are not connecting, they don't just automatically put dots in to connect things. They wait for the information to be revealed, okay? You can't make stuff up. So if you have like things that are unknown in regards to this relationship or this person and you sense something, trust your senses. But you need to verify. And in order to verify, you have to have the information and the facts. So be very careful that you don't gaslight yourself 
in order to feel better. Okay? Just stick with the facts. Get in your investigation mode <laughs> when it comes to trying to solve a situation that you're trying to solve here, sort some information out. The thing about investigators is they're very patient. They take their time. They don't rush to judgment. All right. Let's see if we can get some names and numbers and all that good stuff. All right. Connection with a Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, and a Gemini. And also an Aries. All right. September 7th. September 4th. August 27th, August 26th. Okay, August 23rd, September 12th, um, September 16th, August 31st. Someone was, all right, so year of birth or age, we have 80, 42, 60, 51, 49, 67, 76, 65, 37, 86. Um, significant. Um, let's see. We have February through May. It was a significant time period. February through May of the year that recently passed. And also, I'm seeing a May wedding. Like the end of April into May of 2025. I'm also picking up um, Aquarius and Pisces and Gemini and Taurus. Okay, someone's name is Marnie. Someone lives in Maine. Okay. <laughs> uh, someone, all right, they're just saying Battery Park. Dee Dee. Or D, Deanne, Deidre, Deanna, Debbie. Okay. Hmm. Ivy. Jack. Jacqueline. J ja JC. I'm hearing. Hmm. Someone's a poet, does a lot of writing. Doesn't have to be a poet, could be a poet or writes music or songs, it's writing. Uh, Detmer, I'm hearing. Det, D-E-T-T-M-E-R, Detmer. I don't know, it's like a last name or something. Okay, Beatrice. Ty, my Ty, hey. <laughs> Tavi, Tate. Tatum. Someone has two names in their name. I'm um, sorry, duh. two eyes in their name. Mia. Mimi. Abe. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Someone's watching baseball. Or watches baseball. We have Michigan. Denmark. Virginia, Baton Rouge. Someone's birthday's in December. Okay. Mm, all right. He, I'm hearing he, him. He, him. Maybe somebody says, calls themselves a he, him. We have Theodore or Ted or Teddy. Jonas, John. Okay, they're giving me initials now. C E J I V M V is in Victor, M is in Mary, T I A B D E T A. Okay, let's get into your charms. Virgin Islands. I'm hearing Virgin Islands. And I'm hearing Todd. Oh, also Dottie. Decker. Okay. 
All right, so starting here with the snake, which reminds me, I forgot the uh, Chinese signs. I'm all discombobulated today. Somebody might be a year of the snake or has a connection to a snake. Um, maybe has a snake or some type of reptile. All right, let's get your Chinese signs. Okay, year of the goat. This could be you or your person. Year of the rat. Year of the monkey. I'm gonna just pull two more. Year of the rabbit. And year of the pig. Okay, so yeah, snake. Snake vibes, big time. You also have um, a pegasus. So some type of mythology, something to do with Pegasus, connection to Pegasus, or the word means something to somebody. Pegasus. Isn't that Greek mythology? Pegasus. Okay, let's get another charm. Before we roll on out of here don't forget the extended reading link is in the description box below we saw there would be a an alignment and a reunion with so this person here with your person so i feel like the message here um is to go check that out the link like i said is in the description box and last but not least now you have a monkey okay connection to um maybe you are born in the year of the monkey ah where your person is. There's something here to do with a monkey. Wait a minute. First of all, that is totally a monkey because it's just hopping all over the damn place. You're, you or your person are very physically active, jumpy, or somebody likes to play tricks or jokes around a lot. That has like a, like a very active, hoppy, like moves a lot. It's like a physical, physically moves a lot. There you go. You can see the monkey. He's even got a ring on his head. Balancing act, circus, performer. Some type of connection to that. Or just very busy hopping around. Maybe you have a monkey. Or you have, um, or somebody calls you, uh, my monkey, my little monkey, or hey monkey. <laughs> or you think your person's kind of like a monkey. Something along those lines. All right, you guys. So yeah, I'm going to go over the extended. The link is in the description box below. If you want to get a personal reading, I have specials going for October. Go check those out. The link um, is back, moonpietarot.com. Or... Hey, Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. going to do your weekend reading to see what messages show up here for you. So hope everybody is safe out there in uh, good old Florida. Let's take a look and see. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. All right, what to expect this weekend? Okay, you've got some kind of reunion, maybe a party or somewhere that you're going, um, or there's a community uh, coming together over the weekend that you're gonna be a part of. Okay, some of you, there might be like an event, a wedding. Um, there might be a reunion between you and another person, romantic reunion, it might be getting married or an engagement, something along those lines. This is a feeling of family strong family energies over this weekend whether that's your biological family or your uh, your soul tribe family whomever your people are you could be going to a work fa uh, like a work outdoor work event as well okay so you also have the king of pentacles so there is a connection um to either a virgo taurus capricorn uh, that you could be attending this event with or connecting with masculine or feminine, but there's also uh, stability you feeling not feeling there's no feelings uh, I think you might be looking at your money. Maybe you're putting hosting a party or putting a party together this weekend Shopping uh, maybe looking for a nice outfit to wear to an event over this weekend as well You're looking at your money. You might be couponing <laughs> or looking for deals for some type of an event or celebration or just you could just be planning you might not be going anywhere this weekend okay maybe you're planning for a future event you're paying for it or there's somebody paying for it okay let's see all right I also see you hmm 
you're out and about this weekend, Virgo. A lot of walking. So I don't know if this is for exercise or you just don't have your vehicle. It's a lot of walking, a lot of movement, exploring. You might be exploring an area this weekend or you are going somewhere, you're traveling. You could be um, maybe just maybe just hiking or, you know, going through a wood trail or something or going through the mountains. There is an energy of um, definitely moving on or moving forward here. Okay, some of you are moving away from a relationship as well over this weekend. Okay, and you're just taking some time out. You could be going somewhere with someone as well. Um, a little excursion over the weekend with a lover or a friend or a family member here. Um, now this feels like a temporary thing, okay? This is not like, I'm out, gone forever, never looking back. It's not that. This is just like taking some time out, going somewhere, spending time alone in nature or spending time with someone else. And uh, feels like for some of you, it's, I do feel like maybe a walking event of some sort or walking through a town or just being out and about, like at a fair as well, okay? So I also have the Queen of Cups. It's going to be very significant to you over this weekend. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, let's see. You could be hanging out or this person and you. There's a temporary separation. You guys are coming back together over this weekend. Um, there's a reunion with a water sign or an earth sign. Okay. What else do you have going on here? Oh, Nine of Wands in the reverse. Wow. There we go. What's up? So um, isolation ends. Yep, whatever kind of isolation you've been in, you're coming out, coming out from under the rock or someone else is. There is an energy of um, getting your faith back, right? Not putting up hard, hardcore boundaries or walls. You're, you're free. I'm hearing freedom. Oh, they just gave me that George Michael song. Remember that song? I won't let you down. Freedom. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Peace. Wow, you got peace. R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. Some of you are sleeping in over this weekend. You know what? Do it. Do it. Sleeping in. If you're not getting good night sleep, take a nap during the day. Okay? Rest and relaxation. Okay? This is also recovering, uh, healing after some type of a broken relationship. There might be somebody who uh, wants to heal a relationship with you or you with them. This is also, uh, I want to say, no longer feeling anxious or restless. Uh, someone's ready to act. Um, there's no burnout here. And if there were, this is like peace, praying. Someone's praying for you, Virgo. Also, someone's like going into a church and is like kneeling down and saying prayers for you. I'm not kidding. Praying for peace for you. Praying for recovery for you. Um, or for both of you. Like legit maybe even getting down on their knees now somebody some of you might be um going to a funeral as well this is not hey this is not predictive this is something you already know about and you could be attending a funeral over this weekend as well um you might run into somebody as well someone from your past okay all right i'm just hearing um Someone's got like a, a thing for you, Virgo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody's got like a physical thing for you. Or you get aroused by something over this weekend. I'm just going to say that. Or you're by yourself and you're taking care of business. You know what I'm saying? We are so candid on this channel. It's just, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah. And there's also um, someone else is by themselves taking care of business when it comes to you. Okay, thinking about you much? <laughs> All right. Virgo, I also feel like you're spending on yourself. You are not sharing any of the goods this weekend. Or you're not spending. You're holding on to your money. You're not dropping them coins in every, in every coin slot you pass. No, Virgo's like, you're withholding. Okay, you're withholding. You might be in some debt and you're trying to save. Um, maybe you're struggling a little bit financially, but you are, you're being a bit more conscientious about where your money goes over this weekend. Somebody might ask you for money and you're not able to give it. Or you see something you really like and you're like, oh, I can't, 
we take a break from spending over this weekend. Oh, what's going on? Stuck energy. Stuck energy. Secretly stuck. What's this? Somebody's very hesitant to pay you back. Somebody owes you money. They can't pay you back. They're keeping it a secret. And then also I'm hearing they're giving you some money, but not the full amount. But they're not letting you know that they actually have more in their account to give back to you. Instead of paying you off first and then dealing with whatever they have left over, they're saving some for themselves. I feel like you need to know that. I don't know why, but I just feel like you need to know that. It's a little bit of a secret. There's also somebody here who is secretly stuck on you, doesn't want to let you go. Oh my gosh, my battery is almost dead already. Doesn't want to let you go. And they're coming in to make an offer. This is very slow. It could be a Taurus or a Libra. Okay. Um, but this person, the, the, you are like everything to them. Um, could be a Taurus or a Libra. Could be a water sign. Could be an earth sign. Aquarius, I'm hearing. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, victory over a heartbreak. Wow. Are you breaking up with someone over this weekend? You might be. And it's, you feel good about it, I'm hearing. Brings you peace. Some kind of breakup brings you peace, Virgo. It gives you an opportunity to manifest new opportunities in your life. It gives you an opportunity to manifest things in your life is what I'm hearing, right? So some kind of breakup needs to happen or argument or something needs to be said in order to be able to have a new beginning. Okay, the boss, the boss is working you hard and you're not getting paid enough. You're investing too much into some job or someone you work for. If you work for yourself, that's not you. If, um, or it could be the tax man, but your money's, no, you're not getting to keep, you need to, you need to relook over your situation here because whatever the withholdings are, it's too much. When you're investing and wasting your time with a particular job, that, someone that you work for, uh, you need to find ways to free up more money for yourself. There's a baby coming in. Oh, someone, there's a pregnancy and someone's like very defensive about this. Doesn't want to have this baby. A new blessing. Who would who would be defensive against a blessing? Whether it's a child or a new relationship, proposal, or marriage. Someone's like, no, no, I don't want it. Well, it might be you. You're putting a stop on that new love. I feel like you might be a little bit avoidant here. Oh my gosh, this blessing coming in. Someone's in love with you and wants to connect. But it looks like this weekend you're like, nah, go away. You're protecting yourself. I feel like that's what that is. People who avoid or push back are just trying to protect themselves. The fear of getting hurt. There's a very healing relationship. It could be a friend. A friend um, that you don't have a thing for is interested in you, Virgo. And, you know, makes some kind of love offer. But I feel like if it's just a friend and you'd rather keep it just friends, you're not interested in that. You don't want that. You don't want anything romantic. Okay, somebody's watching you, keeping an eye on you. This and so I'm just hearing this person is very careless, so you're gonna find out who it is. Could be an Aquarius, but whoever there's somebody here is watching you, and somehow they misstep, they make a they make a mistake. Whatever they're trying to hide themselves, um, they make a mistake, and they they are seen, or they get caught. Okay, so if you know that you've got somebody watching you, just so you know, you're going to find out about who exactly it is. Or someone's, whoever's kind of either talking about you or gossiping about you or um, spying on you or being sneaky around you and you have a hunch, but you're not 100% sure, you're going to find out this weekend who this is for sure. And that's going to come to an end. Oh, big time. But you're also going to see that somebody maybe is betray, betraying you. Um, gossip. There's betrayal with gossip. So you find out whoever's talking about you or talking ish on you. Um, you're going to find out that they're like, that's a little bit of a betrayal. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Um, you're going to choose a different path with this person or these people for sure. 
okay because their energy is not good um, you cutting it off because they're gonna get caught you cut it off once you once you find out you cut them off a hundred percent you have to and move on this could be a work thing or this could be people you're really close to or people you trust to trusted maybe some friends oh wow okay There's some change. There's going to be some change in your love life. A very happy situation. A happily ever after situation. Someone's coming to see you this weekend. Okay? Someone's coming to visit you. It could be a cancer. Um, Virgo, I kind of feel like to tell you here that um, someone's trying to avoid some trouble. Someone doesn't want any trouble. And then when it, they're coming to see you, they don't want something to end here. So they're coming to see you to, I don't know if this is, it's marriage or some kind of sacred union to secure a relationship that, that brings joy and happiness. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, there's a death card too. Yeah, something ended that was a real struggle, was difficult to deal with. There's new communication. This person's really into you. Okay, definitely. They've been keeping silent, but now they're going to come out and tell you. Yep, there's even an apology coming for you. Seeing things from a different light at this point. Don't wear anxiety here. Looking out at the future with you as far as love goes. Oh, getting over the grief. Opening up. Having hope again. Feeling relieved. Someone's very dependent on you. Um, they don't want you to be single. They don't want to be single. They want to be with you. There's a reconciliation. A lot of truth coming out with someone here, Virgo. Yep, somebody's struggling. Seriously. It could be a king of swords, air sign, masculine or feminine. They want to make new plans with you here, Virgo. Coming fast. Big change. You better keep your eyes on this over this weekend. Your wish come true here. For sure. Look at that. Coming really fast. Lots of communication. Cupid's arrows. Somebody here is really into you. Initiating new conversation. <laughs> They're really greedy. Could be a north sign. They're very, very greedy. Very. I mean, I feel like this person just, yeah. They're... <sighs> I don't know how to say it. They're jealous. They're very, very jealous. Okay. They're, you're rebelling against them or this? Nope. No, you're not. In their mind, they're like, nope. We're bringing you're bring. I'm bringing you back in. I'm reeling you in. They're gonna open up though. Tell you how they feel about you. Okay, which is they have very deep feelings for you. Here, even with the moon in the reverse, the truth is revealed. They tell you they want you. King Cups could be dealing with a masculine or a feminine water sign who was non-committal, ghosted. No more ghosting. They ran away. No more running away. Coming back in to connect with you, Virgo craziness you got a lot going on this weekend as per usual i feel like my battery is going to die so i'm just gonna pull up one charm here i know it's short but it's a weekend go out you know spend all your time with me go out and enjoy your weekend here virgo okay so for those of you who live in florida you got tornadoes and hurricanes you're gonna see a lot of lizards laying around uh out in the open save a lizard um, there is some connection to uh, some kind of lizard, though, here. Wow, you got a seashell? Pearls? Holy, what's going on? There's a lot of beach energy. Uh, or tropics. Tropical energy. Okay, let me get a, let me get one more. Let's tell you, my battery, I don't know what's going on with it. It's just dying, like, so fast. Okay. There's a connection to a rhinoc rhinoceros. Now, I know we don't have any of them there. Uh, definite, I don't, I'm not pick, picking anything up from that. Um, but a connection to a rhinoceros is all I'm saying. Uh, maybe that resonates for you. Maybe not. I don't know. You have to have namaste. Okay. You're connected to that in some way. There's, there's a word. Somebody uses that word. You also have a starfish. Some beach stuff going on. Guess what? Stuff that's like been hidden is going to be all over the beaches. Things that have been hidden. Might even be a mermaid or two coming out all over the beaches. I'm telling you, if you're, listen, if you're somewhere near a beach and there's a storm, which we all know what's going on right now, but if, you, if you're not down there and it's anywhere, there's a storm, and you walk along the beach, you're going to find some kind of gem. You're going to find something special. 
valuable, significant on the beach, or you have. Okay, that's the message. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Be safe out there, and I will see you all back here on Sunday. Take care. Bye. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Mm -hmm.